still on the introductory part of statistics, today we are going to talk about population and sample. I believe in the previous class you understood perfectly all that you need to know as regards statistics, data, branch and types of statistics, forms of data, and so on and so forth. So, let us proceed with today's topic. Meanwhile, in the next class, we're going to talk about sampling. What we're looking at some terminologies in sampling, types, methods, and techniques of sampling. All right? Then, right after that video, we'll move into data collection. So, population. Population can be defined as the total item or objects or individual in a particular place. Total number of item or individual or object in a particular place. You can also say population is the entire collection of all persons, objects, or items concerning a specific area of investigation or study. Now, take good note of it that a population might be of finite size or infinite size. When we say it can be of a finite size, it means that it can be counted. When we say it can be of an infinite size, it means it is uncountable. It cannot be counted. All right? Now, sample. Sample simply talks about the part of the population that represents the whole. So right after this video, I'm going to pop up a diagram to explain population and sample to help you understand it perfectly well. Now, take good note of this, that the act of taking sample from the population is known as sampling. And sampling is what we are going to discuss extensively in the next video. So, the act of taking sample from the population is known as sampling. What are the types of sample? We have two major types of sample. We'll talk about probability sample and non-probability sample. Probability sample it is a sample that the probability of selecting a sample is known and possible. The probability of selecting a sample is known and it's possible. Why non-probability sample? It's a sample that the probability of selecting a sample is not known and it's not possible and it cannot be measured. All right, so non-probability sa non -probability sample is the opposite of probability sample, okay? Now, what are the advantages of sample? Now, samples are cost-effective. They are not expensive. Because instead of carrying out the investigation on the whole population, which is going to cost you more, when you decide to carry out the, the investigation from the sample, which is the part of the population, you save costs. Now, it encourages quick decision. Now, trying to get your information from everyone, from the whole population, might take you time. And remember, until you are done carrying out the investigation, you can't make any decision. But when you work with a sample, you can easily get the information you need. Then you take decision and know what next to do. All right? Now, it also saves time. Remember, if you want to get the investigation or you, extra, you want to extract the information from the population, let's say it might take a week, for instance, depending on what you're investigating on. But if you work with the population, definitely in two, three days, you get information you need and you proceed with what you want to carry out. Now, let us look into some terminologies briefly. We'll talk about parameter, statistic, census, and sample size. So that in the next video, we'll talk about everything that has to do with sampling. Now, what do we mean or what do you understand by parameter? Parameter are simply the characteristics or attributes of a given population. You can also say they are the values derived from descriptive statistics. I believe you already know what we mean by descriptive statistics. Remember, we have descriptive and inferential statistics from our previous class. I've explained on that. So, parameter are the characteristics or attributes of a given population. So, statistic itself, statistic, not statistics. There is no S here. Statistic. Yeah, they are the characteristics or attributes or features of sample. Okay, so statistics deals with sample. 
parameter deals with population okay the characteristics of the population is known as parameter the characteristics of sample is known as statistic now census census simply means the counting or act of counting or enumeration of every given member of the population we can also say that census is the complete enumeration of all the units in the population including the collection of vital statistics vital information all right now sample size when we talk about sample size it simply means the total number of the sample selected the total number of the sample selected that is what the sample size let us take for instance if five people are selected for an interview it simply means that the number of sample is five so the total number of people selected represents the sample size that is just it about population and sample in a nutshell in the next video we we'll hit basically on sampling we'll talk about the terminologies we'll also talk about the techniques and the method of sampling and lots more then we'll move into the calculating aspects of statistics remember we're also going to talk about plotting of graph right where we talk about the component bar charts multiple bar charts histogram and so on and so forth so we have a lot to learn just stay tuned and let us flow together meanwhile any questions or any clarification you need just make use of the students forum as you can see the link below and we'll definitely give you feedback until then do have a good day